Hello and welcome to the full video tutorial of the Employee Work Schedule Template Google Sheets Spreadsheet. The purpose of this spreadsheet is meant for small to medium sized business owners to create schedules for their employees on a weekly basis. Uh, and this handles up to between 45 and 50 total employees. And what you're going to do is each week select first which day of the week your work schedule begins on. So for most companies it's probably a Sunday or a Monday. Um, but if it happens to be something else, all the days are supported. Uh, for this example, we'll say the week begins on a Monday, and we'll use the first week of Jan of 2022, uh, which begins on Monday, January 3rd. And you'll notice as I selected both of those entries, everything else automatically populated. So all you need to do is fill out these two, and then don't worry about touching the rest of those. Uh, those are going to be calculated automatically for you to save you some time. So as mentioned, it can handle up to 45 employees. Um, so you just go down, enter in all your employees' names. Uh, and for some of these, I've already had pre-populated schedules. Um, but we can go ahead and do one together as an example. So we'll add a new person, Robert Johnson, to the list. Uh, and then you just type in the hours that uh, that employee is going to be working. So we'll say 6.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. We'll say 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. And you want to make sure that you have it form formatted pop properly uh, whenever you're entering it to make sure all the calculations are working. So you can see as I'm entering in that data, it's automatically calculating the total number of hours that employee is working in the week. For some companies, you don't want to go over 40 hours a week because then you have to start paying overtime, or maybe you don't want to go over 30 hours a week because then you have to consider them a full-time employee. Uh, so it's important to keep track of how many hours each of your employees are working. And one other thing I'll mention is that the schedule template does support overnight schedules. So you can see here we have this individual going in at 10 p.m. and then they're leaving at 7 a.m. the following day. You'll still enter that within the same day, um, but whenever it's calculating those hours worked, you'll notice it's going to properly account for that overnight schedule. And we can add in another one as well. So that's about as simple as it is uh, entering in their schedule. Uh, one other thing you can take advantage of is keeping track of how much pay is going to be due each of your employees. So you can see it's already calculated those hours worked, and then you can manually enter in what their hourly pay rate happens to be. Uh, and that's going to calculate that total pay due. One other option to look at uh, is if you don't want to show that sensitive pay information, you can go to the template without pay version, and this one pulls out the hourly rate. So if you wanted to print it out and post it to somewhere in your office for everyone to see their schedule, but you don't want everyone to see uh, everybody's hourly rate, uh, then you can go ahead and use this template as well. As mentioned earlier, you're going to be able to use this throughout the year. You don't have to keep uh, starting from scratch with a brand new uh, template or purchasing this over and over year after year. All you want to do is keep an empty version of the spreadsheet. So delete all the information, get rid of the date information. Uh, likely the week, uh, the day of the week that your uh, company begins on is always going to remain the same. So you can keep that in there. But keep a blank copy. And then each week throughout the year, just right click on that uh, template tab and then duplicate. And then go ahead and rename that next one, uh, whatever week you're currently ending information in for. So this is the week of January 3rd. You'll go here, enter in January 3rd, type in all of your employees' names, their schedules, their hourly rates, and then you start again for the following week with that blank template. You'll duplicate that, and then this one will be week of January 10th. And then you just update the date here to January 10th, and so on. Uh, this way you can continue to use a spreadsheet for every week of the year and for many years to come. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you got value from this video, please hit the like button below uh, to help get this video out to more uh, people to be able to view it. Uh, and please, if you get consistent value from the videos on my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Uh, I continually uh, release both Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel spreadsheet template tutorials, as well as just tutorials to teach you how to do different things in those, uh, those different software, spreadsheet software packages. All right, thank you for watching, and feel free to reach out in the comments below if you have any questions. Thank you.